Good morning everyone. So we're here today at D1 Beach in Blanchishes and we're doing a beach cleanup finally. It's time to start putting some effort back into the community in the beaches where I spend so much of my time. I put up on Instagram the other day talking about doing a beach cleanup and I got hundreds of responses of, of people willing to help and assist. And that's going to be great into the future. But for today, I've brought along about six or seven of my friends because it's a very small beach and I just wanted to test the logistics of how everything would go down. First of all, I want to pick up the sponsors today, Procare Janitorial Services. I'm going to link everything down below here and give all the numbers and everything. It's actually a company I used to work for and they're fantastic with really great prices and they sell everything from garbage bags to cleaning products for restaurants, businesses. I highly recommend you check them out if you're looking for those things. And they're very kind to donate to us the items we needed today to do this beach cleanup. You know, garbage bags, gloves, different things we need to actually get the work done. So thank you very much Procare, big shout out to you guys. Very considerate to donate and help us out on this beach cleanup. So yeah guys, let's check it out today. We're gonna tidy up this beach. I'll show you the before and after results and hopefully it stays good for long enough. Granted, I know that somebody's gonna come along and dirty it again. So these beach cleanups will not be a one-off thing, but hopefully a continuous thing going into the future. So let's check it out, see what we're faced with and hopefully we leave the beach at least in a lot better condition for the beach goers this weekend. Let's go guys. So this beach is a nesting area for turtles and a lot of families and beachgoers do come here very often. But of course, unfortunately, we don't know who the culprits are, but people are very guilty of leaving their trash all over. So let's do a little walkthrough and see what we're faced with today. And then hopefully it looks a lot better when we're done. So what we're going to do is actually clean up the entire beach. We're going to walk the beach. We're going to walk the drive down to the beach. There's a river area which we'll check out as well. But by far one of the worst areas always on D1 Beach is this area that I'm going to show you now where they actually have these old concrete structures and people seem to believe them to be garbage but they're actually not made for garbage at all. People should really just take their garbage and dispose of them properly on their way out or at their own homes. There's also actually a garbage bin by Las Cuevas, that's an official collection route for garbage where we're going to dump the garbage at the end of this trip. But I'm going to show you this spot now. And this is a very famous spot for collecting a whole bunch of garbage here at D1 because I guess people think it's a garbage cylinder. But I assure you, it's not for garbage. This is not a garbage spot. There's no way on this beach to leave your garbage. Nobody collects it. I always make beach videos, I make waterfall videos. Please guys, especially if you follow this channel, educate the people around you and you yourselves never leave garbage here, you know? I'm sharing all these beaches and these waterfalls that everybody in Trinidad to truly enjoy the experience and come here and see beauty. I expect that you will also follow along in keeping it clean, doing your part. And you don't need me to tell you clean up a beach, you know? Get your friends together, go and clean up the beaches in your area, clean the, the surroundings where you live, Tag me up if you want on Instagram, it's good. You don't need me or a person or personality to say, hey, let's get something done. You can do it yourself. So let's get it done, guys. And let's stop this nonsense from happening. So let me just show you some of the boys who will be cleaning with us today. Well, we have my boy Jono here, and I know all of you are very familiar with at this point. We brought in a guy from Belize to help us do the work. <laughs> My partner here, Adam, I'm just okay. kidding, he's actually Trini. I'll link his Instagram account below here, right by his chest area. <laughs> My boy, Chaz. Chaz, come this way so you get some light on your face. You're looking real dark there. Yeah. Chaz, yeah, Chaz, yeah. that's yeah. Chaz, yeah. And my brother, Patrick here. And Patrick here, we're doing a beach cleanup, and one time he's like, hey, give me a call, I'm on yes. it. How to do it, how to do it. It's and rusty. we have one other partner here, Rusty, who's now like famous. This is the brother from the D2 video the other day. But like Rusty just running the course. Rusty grab a garbage bag, 
Oh, what did we pick up? I feel it's you busting the garbage or very wrong, you know? Probably. Highly likely. Rusty. Highly likely. Rusty getting on bad. Alright, guys, so we're gonna clean up. You've seen what it looks like before, so let's see what it looks like afterwards. Let's head out. Guys, I forgot Josh. <laughs> this is Josh Lewis here. Eh? He's lovely. a very experienced free diver in Trinidad and just an all around good person. Lovely, lovely guy. And I completely neglected him. And now he's giving me a hug. You see, I've been forgiven. Can't believe it. Thank you for coming out, Josh. Yeah. We're going to clean this pleasure. place up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I just want to show you guys too. My boy Chaz in here. Finding garbage all down inside the hole and things. So these boys clean up out there. But Charles has now found a full bag of garbage. Literally going all back into the back area here. I don't even know how people find it managing to litter down inside here. It's really really unfortunate. Like there's so much trash here. And I'm now talking to some of these boys and they've cleaned up the beaches a few times before. And Pretty much, unfortunately, this might be dirty just as bad by uh, four days from now. You know, it's people coming, cooking, liming on the beach, doing all kind of strippiness. Really, really poor behavior. We had to do much, much, much better. All right? Yeah, plenty broken glass, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah real glass, I think. Wow, it's real glass. We are 20 minutes into the cleanup. So far, five bags full. 20 minutes in. We even leave the car park yet, by the way. So I just saying, you know. So unfortunately, as I was saying, we're cleaning the car park area now, but the problem extends onto the beaches themselves as well as down into these beautiful rivers even just anywhere between logs you walk a little bit onto the beach sanitizer bottles old slippers styrofoam cups the beach is a beautiful place and should be kept beautiful always you know just like my boy rusty here just chilling Rusty, keep the beach clean. Keep the beach clean, Rusty. More styrofoam. So I'm heading by the riverside area now. I'm just showing you that, you know, yes, some of the trash comes down for rivers, so it's the responsibility of people up, um, you know, alongside rivers, people dumping rivers, it comes down to the beach. Some of the trash washes up with high tide. But I will tell you the vast majority of it is definitely coming from people showing up too lazy to take home their garbage and then just wrapping it up and be like you know somebody go deal with that but that's not the case at all and it's who comes to the beach or river or waterfall fit to show up and look nasty you'll be like god look how this place is looking i don't even want to lie here but it's just another person like us like me or you who just left it like that for one of us to bounce up and meet it so we had to do better let's try better i'm uh, looking into the river now I just want to point out a small side note as well guys where we clean up all this big trash unfortunately there's so many small microplastics and little styrofoam and stuff too that we're going to try our best to clean but it's almost invisible but that's the stuff we're finding inside our fish our food inside of turtles and animals that are dying on the beaches humans are having a real rough impact on this planet that we, we know that for years now so again i appeal to everybody especially if you watch and follow my videos especially if you message me saying hey thanks for showing off the country Alan or I can't wait to visit this place come here and do the right thing clean up if you can or even if you don't clean up at least don't leave nothing and if you see people littering anything embarrass them call them out we we live on a beautiful island you know which people want to leave their countries to come and see Trinidad and Tobago we have to set the example that we wake up and it's just normal not to pollute anymore it's normal not to litter anymore it should be weird and frowned upon like if you see somebody throwing something out a window or trash that's just weird you know like who would do that and people scolding them and stuff we have to start treating people in society who litter like we don't want your kind here now that's not how we operate in this country so that's just my two cents but this is a small beach 
and a small cleanup and we done have about 14, 15 full trash bags racked up and we ain't halfway done yet, you know? So, come on guys. Hi guys, so this is where we've reached. We're here now for about one hour cleaning. And this is the bags we've piled up thus far. And plenty, plenty, plenty work to be done. I would say one of the most disturbing aspects of it all is it's easy to pick up the big trash. But you see all these small little plastics, the size of your fingernail, bottle caps, styrofoam, real pressure and it's everywhere. I mean, literally everywhere. It's kind of frightening to be honest. We have Josh long in the hole here. See the length, see people have a good. Ooh. Disgusting, man. <laughs> Josh, Yo. if you have one message for the people watching who like to come to these beaches and different things, what are you telling them? Keep a clean scene. Keep a clean scene, eh? Take your trash home. That's the most important thing. You're big and you have sense. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so my boy Chaz on his shovel. Chaz, if you have one message for the people coming to the beaches and things, when it comes to trash and taking care of things, what do you feel? I mean, coming to the beach is all well and good, you know, everybody trying to have a good time. Uh, but even better to one up that is to pick up your stuff, you know, this is something we want to preserve. Uh, we want to keep it clean and beautiful. And uh, yeah, just this is our home, so let's treat her good, you know. After if everybody played a part, then we won't have to do all this, right? Correct. Patrick. Yes, sir. Nah, sorry to interrupt your very no rigorous problem. cleaning you're doing there. One message for the kids, for the grown-ups, because I'm sure it's not children doing this. I mean, what do you want to tell them about like when you come into the beaches and responsibility? This is our place, this is our home, we love it. The big people, even if you're little children, realistically the big people need to teach you little children and the young ones that we can't be doing these things. Take your mess home, keep our beautiful beaches clean and beautiful. Absolutely. Please. You know, Please. People in Trinidad are stupid. We, they are no, people in Trinidad nah. is not stupid. We just choose to be like this. It's laziness. Laziness. Absolutely. Esteban from Belize. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean, Adam. Yeah. There's a little message for the people. You looking like the biggest eco warrior here, but. <laughs> A message for the people is simple. Have pride in your surroundings, right? You come to the beach, you have garbage, take it home with you. It's not that difficult. Even a trainee could understand. Even we, a trainee could yeah, understand. Yeah, we're that. not that stupid, but we're lazy. We're lazy. Right? We take advantage of our surroundings. Just clean up after yourself, take it home. Have pride in your surroundings. Have some pride, in. Eh? Yeah, 100%. Blessings, my brother. Yeah, man. Rusty, you helping? And last but not least, well, we all know this man here. Now, normally we know Jono for talking garbage, but today he's collecting the garbage. <laughs> Jono, a quick message for the people out there. Don't, don't mind you've told them about a hundred times already. Dog, just respect the environment, dog. Respect the environment. Because I'm coasting right now, dog. They have so many layers. Like, we're digging up layers and layers of garbage right now. Layers and layers. It's, it's frightening, huh? When you see all the microplastics and all these small things there. I never nah, thought I was a big guy was this often. <laughs> Literally, my boy Patrick there picking up diapers. Everyone have a child. And he have no child. None of us. Well, one of us have child. Jono has a child. But study that. What does that tell us? People bringing their babies and showing their babies that you can dump your diapers and your trash here from young. So they learn that one time. Do much better. Rusty, how you feel about the beach situation? I know you wagging your tail, but ideally I want to perceive that you're not happy about it. Guys, I know the message has been repeated and repeated, but that's why we're here. We clean up a small beach. Think about me, our romance in the last few us big beaches. We on a beach that could only hold about eight cars in the car park and small family gatherings, and we're cleaning up like about a hundred people worth of garbage. We all can do better. This channel is about showing you everything as well as education, so let's do better. So we have Adam straight up digging up garbage graves. So it's almost like people dumping garbage on top of burial sites of more garbage. Like how you see in them horror movies, I think. Layer upon layer of garbage. A lot of fine picking. A lot of fine picking. A lot of fine picking. So the easy part is the big bottles and the big plastic bags and stuff. The hard part there's the bottle caps, the small little tedious things and those are the things that probably do more harm than anything. That's the stuff that the animals eat, that me and you eating in our food. 
So you know, unless you enjoy the little plastic in your stomach, maybe it's time to do a little bit better. And you know and I know this is something that will probably take decades to fix, even with constant cleanups and better living conditions. But we had to start somewhere, so we started now, right? This is the aim. This is what we're trying to get to when we come to the beach. A beautiful, lovely area for families and everybody to enjoy. And look how beautiful it looks just from me showing the camera. But if I get a little lower to the ground, it's not as pretty. We can make all our beaches in Trinidad and Trinidad on the whole be a shining example for the Caribbean. And then all kind of great benefits will come from that as well. Think about tourism. Think about yourself coming to the beach. Think about boasting to the other countries out there. Why are we the best? Because we are powerhouse and we clean and our people know how to take care of things. So keep it up. So guys, it's not all bad news when you're doing a beach cleanup. I finally found John the shoes of his dreams. Here they are, glistening in the sunlight. Yeah. Jono, come and put on your beautiful shoes. I want to be Cinderella. Now you could go to the ball and be Cinderella. Rusty approves. Rusty, you're not really helping, eh? So guys, we're not only here to clean up, but my boy Josh and Adam here, they're putting down some um, new plants in the garbage spots there. So let me see if people want to come and throw garbage all over our fresh plants now. Plant number one. That's plant number one. They can put it wherever you want. In here? Uh, in, in here? In here we'll dig it out and put that one there. Beautiful. I feel even after you don't block this area. So let me see maybe in the future instead of garbage, there'll be a whole set of plants and beautiful scenery here. But let's see. You know, I know I'm hoping too much sometimes. So guys, our partner Adam over here just dug up something that is a, a little more unusual than the normal garbage. A big knife. Do you want to turn it on the Yeah, boy. Who could sharp on this first, boy? Who could sharp on this knife? Who could sharp on this first? <laughs> <laughs> so, initially I was worried about glass and different things for you and your children to step on, but now there's literally about 10 inch knives buried in the ground as well. So, boy, I know. Try our best to clean up everything, yes? Crazy. 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 It's like I'm making a lizard and a snake. I thought it was a skeg. Oh shit. Look at those little legs. Careful, eh? That's it. Okay, hold on. That's probably like a bite. Look at this. They get big one. No, it's an adult. I know if we forgot to mention, but our friend from Belize here, <laughs> <laughs> a snake charmer. Real talk though, everybody check out Adam on Instagram. He's literally come to your house and remove big snakes from your house. And iguanas too. And iguanas. The man is a, a raptor. He's kind of like the local Steve Irwin. <laughs> literally. That's why he has any hat. Oh, no, because blocking the sun. Blocking the sun in the shade. Alright, <laughs> yeah, guys, so. We're wrapping up here for the day. Unfortunately, this is all the time we have, but I would say it's 80% clean other than the hundreds and thousands of microplastics that are just really hard and never ending. It seems to pick up 
but we will be back to tackle this beach and other beaches in the future so now let's do the final walkthrough and have a little look oh and let me um very quickly mention that we have collected 45 garbage bags full of trash So guys, that's the beach cleanup done for the day. It looks a hell of a lot better, I'm guaranteed. You know, let's see how long it lasts. I really hope a long enough time. Maybe some people will see this video and spread the message that maybe not to litter so much. So again, I'm gonna show you the beautiful beach view. Let's keep the beach like this always. And now there's one more step and we're gonna go and dispose of the trash. Now I will tell you right off the bat that we spoke to some um, fellas driving a garbage truck on the way up and they told us that you can leave the garbage along the roadside in Blanchishares or near the actual secondary school in Blanchishares and that they will pick it up on their route. However, we're going to go the extra mile just to be safe and take it to a big garbage bin near Las Cuevas Bay today. So let's go check it out. Enjoy the beautiful beach one more time. Guys, so we've reached the final dumping spot here at Las Cuevas. Apparently, other people who try to dump their garbage don't really know how to dump garbage from here into an actual bin. You know, so we'll see if we can help sort that out as well. But this is the final spot. I wanted to thank the squad, my boy Charles, Patrick, Jono, Esteban Gobérez, <laughs> or known as Adam the Snake Hunter. <laughs> My boy Josh down there, like he walking off, so I'll get him at the end there. But thank you very much everybody. Thank you to our sponsor Proke for providing us with all the cleaning items and the gloves. Because God knows we would have lost some fingers if we tried to pick up that trash without it. So yeah, I have the drone up in the air there. I don't know if you can see it. And we're going to dispose of the trash now. Please guys, always remember, you don't need me or somebody or a party to get together and clean up. Clean your local areas, clean your beaches. It's just the right thing to do. And take home your trash when you're there. Blessings, I'll let Patrick take us out. See you all, keep the beaches clean. Keep the beaches clean. Yes, sir. And Josh, just say goodbye. All the other boys now say goodbye there. All right, take it easy. Thank you very much. And Charles has a parting message for the community here. Just a bit of a life hack. So we all know we like to enjoy the beach. So maybe uh, invest in a little roll of garbage bags to keep in your car. So when you go to the beach, you could also you know, you see something, you could also just throw it in the bag and take it, take it with you. So you'll feel a bit of a compassion towards everything and a helping hand. So yeah. Well done, well said, well said. Well said. So excellent life hack. 
bring your garbage bag, see beach with you so you can throw away some extras if you're feeling the pickup and stuff and I'll throw in too you can roll with some food and dog chow to help out the homeless animals on the street. It's up to you. Please help us make the country a better place. Bless up everybody. Thank you. See you on the next cleanup.